Hey everyone, this is Sam, and welcome to my channel. The game we'll be looking at today is going to be Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, the Iki Island Expansion. In this video, we'll be looking at the Saragami armor, and we'll be comparing two different builds using this set. Now the first build I got for you with this armor is what I call the Bomber build. With this one, you're going to take advantage of your ability to actually have infinite bombs, and at the same time, you'll be building a massive amount of resolve off assassination from bombs. And you're going to use that for thunderous heavenly strike as you see there. This build, nasty. Now the second build I have with the Saragani armor is what I call the Dodger build. With this one, you get stronger once you get hit. Because when you get hit, you get all of your health back. And when you heal yourself, you're going to go into this uh, trance where everything is slowed down. And your perfect dodges trigger this blinding attack. That's going to give you plenty of resolve and a chance to kill everybody off. So if you would like to play online together, you can add my uh, PlayStation Network game attack right there. Also, if you would like to chat about games, you can also add my Twitter at SamFam20. And for more build videos on Ghost of Tsushima, you can click on the card above or the link in the description below for my playlist on every build I have made in this game all year. So, let's begin with the uh, bomber build. With this one, you're pretty much taking advantage of that thunderous heavenly strike when you see more than one enemy. And when it's one-on-one -on -one situation, all of your melee kills actually gives you smoke bombs back. And because of that, so when you face more than two enemies, you're going to trigger your smoke bombs and do chain assassinations. And because of the uh, buff of this armor, you're going to get a lot of resolve back as you assassinate in the smoke. And the smoke also heals you. So when it's all combined together, you become extremely powerful. So obviously, you'll be wearing the Saragami armor. And what this build really is doing is taking advantage of that massive amount of resolve gain back perk. So here are the charms you need. Make sure you get the charm of versatile skills on because this is going to double all of your uh, single ca category minor charms. And the one we want to double is charm of fleet foraging. This is going to get buffed up to 30% so we get quick ammo back as we do a melee kill, which is what gets us our smoke bombs. And then we're going to add in the charm of silence so that we can double up our massive return. And in case you're wondering, what are we going to do with all of this resolve? Well, we're going to use the Charm of Heavenly Rebuke. So when we do the Heavenly Strike, there's a chance there's a Thunder Strike on a nearby enemy. You can also consider adding in the Charm of Broken Barriers, which is going to get doubled up. So every barrier you break, you get 30% of your resolve back. And lastly, I like to add in the Charm of Inamori's Might so that I can quickly finish off any enemies remaining with melee. And also I get, you know, double the massive amount of health back. So all together, that's what this looks like. And the synergy with all of this in-game is crazy. So now let's take a look at our second Saragani build, which is what I call the Dodger build. With this one, you get stronger as you get hit. This is because any one hit you take, even on level plus, your heals gives you all of your health back and also puts you in this trance where you can do slow down, perfect dodge, blinding attacks, as you see me do right there. So unlike the Bomber build, the Dodger build's approach is completely different. You're pretty much going to play as is until you get hit. When you get hit though, that's when you get super buff. You get all of your health back and then you're waiting to dodge. Do not parry. Dodge when you get into that uh, slow down trance because the dodging triggers this amazing blinding counter attack. And this blinding counter attack also has the ability to stagger break enemies. So that's why you can see me stagger break the enemy here and I'm getting resolve return from the stagger. And then I also kill off the enemy, so that also gives me resolve back. So you can see in the large group scenario here, as I break multiple staggers out of that special dodge blinding animation, I got like free resolve back, which gives me back all the resolve that I use for the heals or to get into that slow down trance. So obviously, Saragami armor again, but this time, what you're doing is instead of taking advantage of just a massive amount of resolve, you're taking advantage of that perfect dodge special animation that this armor gets. And we're going to add in the Charm of Mahiara's Protection to further buff that animation. Once this charm is added, your heals are now going to cost 2 resolve. But at the same time, not only are you going to get healed, you get put into this trance where time slows down and your perfect dodges are much more easier to do. If anything, there's like a 100% trigger rate if you can do it. So we're going to further complement everything by adding in the Charm of Versatile Skills. So our minor charms of its own category gets uh, doubled. And the charms we're looking to double is the Charm of Healing. Divine Healing, level 2. So if our health is below 50%, we're going to get 60% boost. So that's why you can see me gain all of my health back every single time I get hit. 
Uh, we're also going to add in the Charm of Broken Barrier. So as we do the special dodge counter attack where we blind enemies and break barriers, we get plenty of resolve back. The Charm of Silence is just to double that effect even more because it allows our resolve return to be, you know, massive amount gains twice over. And lastly, we're going to add in the Charm of Inamori's Might so we get the health buff and also at the same time the attack buff. So after we break enemies' barriers, we can finish them off quickly. So let's review both builds here. So here you can see me just uh, put the bomber build in action. And really with this one, you want to kind of hurt and gather as many enemies as you can before you really engage in a fight. Because you're going to be spamming smoke bombs and also heavenly strikes to try to, you know, trigger that thunder animation right there. That triggers about, i say, 25% of the time. But the key to this is, assassination counts as melee kills. So when you throw down a smoke bomb to assassinate someone, there's a 30% chance you get a smoke bomb back. And also at the same time, if you uh, finish off someone with a heavenly strike, there's also another 30% chance you get your smoke bombs back. So as you can see, I keep getting smoke bombs back as I finish off the enemies. And all of the smoke bomb kills brings me back plenty of resolve because you know, the Saragami armor has massive resolve return. So that allows me to have kind of like almost infinite resolve to take as many heavenly strikes as I like. But as I do, get to a point where I'm slowly running out of resolve, I can simply just start throwing bombs again, which gives me back all of my resolve off chain assassinations. And because the heavenly strikes, you know, put terror into enemies, if I finish off terror, enemies will end suffering. You can see I get plenty of resolve back finishing off terrified or suffering enemies. All in all, this allows me to use heavenly strike pretty much whenever I want. And as I kill someone, I get more bombs back. And in a one-on-one -on -one setting, the armor still hits pretty hard and I pretty much don't even need to do any sword attack but heavenly strikes and if I break barriers, more resolve to me heavenly strikes to finish off enemies perfect synergy now with this dodger build the approach is obviously completely different you're gonna play like a real samurai until you get hit but once you get hit that one time immediately heal, don't hesitate you get touched once, heal because you don't have a lot of defense and you actually don't want that much defense because I want to take one hit on level plus and get lower than 50% health so that when I heal, I get all of my health back because the buff only comes after I get lower than 50, right? But once I heal, you can see I get into that slowdown trance. Then I'm just looking to dodge. I don't parry. I dodge so I can get the blinding attack, which could trigger multiple staggers, break barriers, which gives me all of the resolve back. Initially, causing two resolve to heal and to get into the trance seems like a lot, but if you use this build, you will get all of it back. So if it's one-on-one, -on -one, you could still parry if you want, but I suggest always do dodging, all right? So try these builds out yourself, compare it, tell me which ones you enjoy more. They are two different approaches, so it depends how you like to play the game. But uh, give it a try, and hopefully these help you, you know, enjoy the game more. And feel free to add any of my uh, shoujos right there. I would love to chat with you guys. And as always, thanks for coming by, and I look forward to speak to all of you again 